Hello there. Today I'm tasting a Chinese wine from Ningxia. This is Chateau Huhao. It's a Marsilian. Here it's referred to as the Family Collection Dry Red. Oh, I've also seen it referred to as the Master Reserve Marsilian. It's a 2000 vintage. This is from a, a winery which I guess is fairly pioneering within the development of the Ningxia region. They started planting here in 2003 and today they have 67 hectares of vines. The winery is in the village of Tongja and that's in the Helen Mountain East region of Ningxia. So Ningxia, we're up to the north of China, south of the Mongolian border, in the shelter of the Helen Mountains, um, fed with irrigation water from the Yellow River. The owner, Cheng Qian, originally qualified in forestry, but in 1998 he, he became involved in viticulture and was instrumental in working for the, he was working for the government at the time, was in, instrumental in setting up a winery called Imperial Horse, where he was the manager for some time. In 2002 he was inspired, he, he made a visit to Europe visiting vineyards there, saw the way that people worked and, and wanted to set up his own winery, hence in 2003 returning and planting the vineyards here. Initially the company sold its grapes predominantly to a, a large a winery called Cheng Yu, who are the oldest and one of the larger Chinese wineries. Cheng Qian wasn't happy doing that and in 2018 he ended up resigning his government job and devoting his attention to his own brand at which stage he, st he started marketing Chateau Hua Hao in its own right. And as a winery they've made something of a specialism of producing Marsilian, this variety. Marsilian crossing, crossing of two vinifera varieties, specifically Grenache and Cabernet Sauvignon, created in 1961 at a research institute near Marseille in southern France. The idea was to try and produce a quality grape variety with a higher yield than Cabernet Sauvignon. But the variety has quite large grapes and so that wasn't really really suitable for what producers were looking for at that time. These days it's actually gained quite a following in China and I believe there's a certain amount of it planted in Uruguay as well. So Chateau Hua Hao makes this particular wine. It's actually a blend percent of Marsilian here. There is also 5% of Petit Vado going into the blend. So as well as the sort of the soft richness of the Marsilian, the Petit Vado is adding concentration, is adding good acidity and dark fruit. Now I, I know almost nothing about the winemaking here. My assumption is that the fermentation and maceration was managed in such a way as to reduce the extraction of harsh tannins. So you're probably seeing whole bunch of fermentation you're probably seeing cooler ferments to stop extraction of harsh tannins and approaches like that. I also think the wine probably aged for at least a year in a reasonably high proportion of new oak to give it some backbone, to give it some structure and some extra complexity. So let's see what we make of the wine shall we? First thing I have to say is it's deep, it's dark, it's opaque. There's a slight purple note on the rim I certainly can't see through it, it's definitely opaque. There's a, a black red note to the core, it's, it's certainly a dark ruby. As I swirl the wine, I'm, I'm actually surprised there aren't more prominent tears running, but they soon turn up. With it, The wine has 15.5% alcohol, so that's not at all unsurprising. So let's have a look at the aromas, shall we? The aromas are very, very ripe. They're high toned. There's almost a sort of a slightly overripe prune note. There are notes of raisins, but then there's also a juicy black fruit. It's bursting with black cherries, with boysenberry. It's that sort of red black to black fruit. It's beautifully juicy and hedonistic. There is perhaps some sort of slightly jammy dark plum, the sort of damson bullis, very ripe notes there. Underlying all that, there's notes of vanilla and a tiny touch of cedar as well. So let's have a taste. The palate is heady and ripe with rich fruit. The warming alcohol is adding a certain amount of roundness to the mid palate and it's also showing some sort of slightly more drying coffee and cedar notes. It's so pulling a little bit of sweet spice, there's a, a bit of cinnamon there and actually towards the finish the interaction of alcohol and tannins is giving a peppery note across the back palate. The finish has a, a, a juicy black fruit, a, a sort of a red to black cherry almost getting through to sort of a darker black olive note. 
there are chocolatey notes there's that coffee note and touches of drying cinnamon but yes there's that clean intense ripe black cherry fruit right the way through through the wine it's hedonistic it's inviting the finish is being closed up a little by the alcohol and the tannins combining but the tannins are still relatively supple they just have a drying edge to them flavors are reasonably long wine certainly isn't subtle but it has a degree of balance there's a freshness to the fruit that suggests there's sufficient alcohol to be lifting the fruit to stop it from becoming savory or meaty the oak is well integrated and there's enough juicy fruit to stop the very warming alcohol from from drying out the, the finish completely the wine is very very cleanly made rich and hedonistic it's not an elegant or delicate style and it's probably not a wine that's going to age for a long period of time but at the moment if you're looking for a rich hedonistic red plenty of depth and flavor this would be a good option thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video if you found it interesting do please press like do please share it with your friends do leave any comments you have that'd be fantastic just to, to find out what you think about these wines other wines you've tried or other related matters please also do sign up and follow us on youtube it'd be fantastic to have your support but most importantly Please try and make sure you can join us for another tasting in the near future. It'd be great to see you then. Bye for now.